greetings everybody you're on unrealengine.com that's how you go get unreal engine it's owned by epic games go logo up there you're gonna go to that blue download button on the right hand side you can skip sign in for now and if you scroll down you'll see download launcher that's the button you want it will download it'll take a little bit but it will download Okay, standard kind of install. The installer's not huge. I installed it straight to my C drive. There's kind of a couple parts to it. You're gonna install the installer then you're going to go get the engine and then you're going to set up your project and that's three separate kind of install sequences. We'll go through each one. I speed up quite a bit of the steps uh, by about between 700 and 9,000% in order to get us through this quickly. You'll see the updates verifying. Downloading the update. Okay, now that you've opened the installer, you can see you can sign in with Epic Games. Uh, if you don't have a login, you can go down to the bottom and create sign up and click the sign up button. If you want to create an Epic Games account, that's what I did. You'll see I log in with just my Epic username and password. Click remember me, so I have to do it every time. So the Epic Games Launcher is your pathway to Unreal Engine. It seems a little counterintuitive at first. So now you're in the Game Launcher. You're not in Un Unreal Engine yet. You'll see there's an Unreal Engine tab there on the left-hand side under Store, then Library, then Unreal Engine. This is just a bunch of other Epic Games stuff in the middle. Uh, you'll notice there's a Library tab on the left. It can get confusing for people, and that's not the Library tab you typically want. You want that Library tab on the top up there once you've gone into Unreal Engine. I just went into Preferences really quick, that little gear icon to scroll to the bottom to uncheck game notifications and special offers. That way you get spam blessed by Epic. Click back there. Marketplace is where you can go get assets. Library is what we're gonna be spending most of our time in. Okay, you'll see you've got no engine versions in there and there's that orange plus sign. You'll also see in the upper right-hand corner, you've got install engine. Those do roughly the same thing. I always use the orange plus sign. Notice it defaulted to five. That's not what we want. We want 427. So go ahead and click the down arrow there and click 4.27.0. And you'll see there's another little down arrow here. Here You can ignore that stuff for now um, and just hit install. Okay legal stuff to click through. This is, again, where the engine is going to install. The engine's pretty big. I, I have room on my C drive, so I install there. You can see here on the left-hand side, there's a little downloads um, button there. You can click on that and see how fast it's downloading uh, actual you know, megabytes. I sped this part up uh, so you don't have to suffer through this, but this took you know, quite a number of minutes to install. Uh, and you can see I've got a ways to go. On the upper right-hand corner up there, you can see the percentage of the install, which is pretty useful. The verifying step takes a while. Cleaning up takes a while. This could be 10, 15 minutes for you, depending on your download speed. Now you've got more options that are ungrade there. Just a warning, if you ever click that verify button by mistake, it takes a few hours and you can't get out of it. <laughs> it's checking, the ver it's verifying each file on the engine. Okay, now you have launched Unreal Engine 427. The editor is loading. This takes a while. You see you've got four different project categories. You always want games up there in the top. 
for 99% of your projects. Go ahead and click next. And now you can see all the different templates. You want for now the virtual reality template. The other templates are cool. The blank one's cool. Some other interesting stuff in those other ones, but virtual reality is what you want. That's gonna get us spatial audio, grabbable objects, interactives, that kind of thing. And you're gonna click that green next button. And then after you do that, you wanna switch this up, little twisty tree down there and select with starter content. That's gonna, it's gonna give you a lot of more assets to work with. It's gonna increase your download quite a, size quite a bit, but it, I think it's worth it. Again, this is where your project is gonna install. I have space on my C drive, but if you need to path out to a D drive or something like that, feel free. Uh, make sure you name your project here. A lot of people get excited and just click that green create project button and then they forever name their project something like new project or untitled or something like that. Uh, notice it's just kind of paused here. It's gonna flip back over into the initializing screen. And now this took about 45 minutes or so. If you look in the right hand, lower right hand corner, you can see my computer clock is just going up. This is sped up about 9,000%. Um, and then I just chopped out a good chunk of the video file there just to speed this up. But you've got about 7,000 shaders to compile. But after this is done, you are in good shape. And here you are. You are in a base VR project in Unreal Engine. We'll talk about the UI, the assets, all that kind of stuff. But you've at least got the install done on a Windows PC and can uh, get going pretty quickly. That's it. I hope it was useful.